What is up YouTube, my name is Dushandi and welcome to the last video of the Steam Autumn Sales which are gonna end today on December the 3rd. I'm really sorry if I haven't been able to get an episode earlier for these last deals but I was just having some issues with my recorder and such and so I couldn't make an episode today so I missed some a couple of flash deals but I'll be here for the last daily deals and flash sales. Uh, do remember that since this is the last day you can actually be in right now you should probably pick up the games you actually wanted even though if they are not on a daily deal or flash sale. Some of good examples include the Assassin's Creed games which actually didn't show up as was Ryan, the Grand Theft Auto series but oh well. Let's get started with the daily deals shall we with the Stanley Parable 40% off for 7 euros and 19 cents. This is a very interesting first person exploration game that just came out last October so it's actually two, around two months it's actually around one month and a half old. It's already 40% off which is a really interesting discount. There's a free demo of so if you want to try it out and this story is a bit confusing but it's very fun it was originally a mod for Half-Life 2 and it just got a standalone release it does have some steam achievements for you to pick up then steam achievements and of course it has full control support it's a really nice looking adventure uh, really confusing and for this price it's definitely not a bad price to pick it up uh, the demo is available if you want to try it out before making the purchase I would definitely recommend you doing that if you see if you want to see if you like the game it's a great game don't get me wrong and it's a really nice adventure and be really on the lookout for it in the future because it's sound to well be an interesting pick Next, we have a surprise for you guys. I'm actually surprised to see this. Shadow Warriors, 75% off for 6 euros and 24 cents. A game that just came out this uh, last September, so it's actually two months old and it's already 75% off. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah, Shadow Warrior is the remix, uh, the remake of the classic 3D realm shooter from the independent developer Flying Wild Hog, which stars the legendary quick witted warrior Lo Wang. This is actually the modern iteration to it. The special edition is available for an extra two euros. You get some extra, some extra items like a sledgehammer from Series Sam 3, the katana from Outline Miami, as well as a digital art book and official soundtrack. Honestly, I would just buy the base game. I think the items are really not needed. And it recently just got updated to actually all of the Walking Dead's ice axe available as well in the game. It's a really nice adventure game, really nice shooter. It's really, really good. It's a really good game. It's it does have some extra some bad lines but it's really good the classic is also available 75 percent off for two euros and 49 cents of course this does not include the duke nukem 3d and shadow warrior bundle which is actually 66 percent off but it's really good it's a great game you definitely should check it out shadow warrior really really good Next up, we have Age of Empires 2, the HD edition, which is 75% off for 4 euros and 74 cents. You can also buy a 4 pack for 14 euros and 24 cents. There's also the expansion with the expansion Forgotten, the Forgotten, which actually costs an extra 2 euros for 7 euros. And the Legacy bundle for 12 euros 74, you can actually get also Age of Empires 3. There's one thing with Age of Empires 2, is that the game... <laughs> The, the fact that the HD edition didn't change too much of the game style uh, it's really really didn't change much however if you haven't picked the game up it's a great time to pick it up Age of Empires 2 is a really great game a really great solid single player experience the multiplayer is not yet the best but it's overall improving the Forgotten expansion does add some extra civilizations uh, as well as some extra campaigns you actually get the Italians, the Indians, the Slavs, the Magyars and the Incas as well as an extra campaigns and game modes which is really really nice and of course it now has also Steam trading cards so if you want to collect cards it's really a great time to pick it up it's one of the best blue time strategy games of all time it's definitely one worth checking out and I would definitely recommend at this price do pick up the Forgot with the Forgotten expansion because you actually will get more gameplay hour and it's a new expansion, so you should be playing some new campaigns, which are bound to be very interesting. Dust! An Elysian Tale, 75% off for 3 euros and 49 cents. This is a very nice looking 2D uh, action adventure RPG. Really, really nice looking. You play as this character named Dust, and you try and go around searching for your true identity in this various looking good, good looking world this game was actually developed by one single person believe it or not and it's a really great indie game definitely looks very very good um it's got it's a really nice experience it's definitely one worth checking out at this price i would definitely recommend a must buy it this game if you really like rpgs it's really really a must buy and you definitely should check it out really great game dust 
and really one I want to pick up very eventually, who knows. The Tomb Raider franchise with Tomb Raider, the most recent one, 80% off for 10 euros. You can also buy the survival edition, which comes with 11 euros 59 cents, including some extra stuff. Uh, actually, I would not even buy the digital edition because that shit survival edition doesn't contain the DLCs, which are also 81, 80% off. The collection is also available for 80% off for 14 euros. You can get all the Tomb Raider games. So, yeah, Tomb Raider is one of my favorite series of all time. I really like Tomb Raider. And the, the, the thrill of exploring the tombs and such, it's really good. This recent most modern one is a little more adventurous, there's not much tombs in there, but it's still very fun and it's really a great game graphics wise and story wise. It's actually comes before the, the events of the other Tomb Raider games, it actually explains the origin of Lara Croft and its transformation from this young woman to this armed survival we know today. It's a really nice story, and really, really one of the best games of 20, 2013, and it's definitely one worth checking out. At this price, it's definitely recommended, it's actually the cheapest it's been, and I do expect it to get a drop in price very soon. Uh, we'll know why our price it will be on the winter sale, but we'll see. Tomb Raider, really, really great game, definitely one worth picking up. Next, we have Europa Universalis 4, which is actually 50% off for 20 euros, too bad it's still a bit expensive, but it's a great, great game. I'm a big, big fan of Paradox strategy games, and Europa Universalis was one of my favorite games of all time. I really loved Europa Universalis 3. Europa Universalis 4 does make some improvements, it, the starting date is a little bit less, it starts on the 14th, 15th century in 1444, and lasts until 1820, you basically build your empire throughout the world, you basically go colonize, that you engage in war, diplomacy, it's one of the most complex but most fun strategy games of all time, I really love it. The Extreme Edition is available for some extra 3 euros, you can actually get some extra stuff, you actually get some event pictures and new events for Muslim nations, as well as some extra unique cavalry modes and tracks. I think it's very, I, th I think it's actually worth to pick up the Extreme Edition, if you really want to play on a Muslim world, it definitely work. it definitely plays off. The other DLC that I recommend is the American Dream, which is actually 25% off, which adds some extra events and, and mission and decisions to the United States. So it's really good if you want to play a short USA American Revolutionary War campaign. The National Monuments do not really that worry, but does have some extra graphical um, National Monuments to this map which I guess it makes it a little bit, but I would not really recommend it. The pre-order pack though, it's actually more recommended, I actually recommend this one, because it comes with an expansion, which is the Purple Phoenix, which actually adds some extra events and pictures to the Byzantine Empire, as well as some units for the 100 years war, but honestly the Byzantine Empire's edition is what's there. And finally, the one I would also recommend is of course the Call to Arms pack, which adds some extra uh, units for uh, and monuments, but I actually would not recommend that. So yeah, Europe Universalis is a really great game, definitely one worth picking up, but this price might be a bit expensive, so you might want to wait a bit to pick it up. Next, we have Gary's Mod, which is 75% off for 2 euros. Honestly, at this point, if you don't know what Gary's Mod is, you're probably living under a rock, because this game has been out for almost for the last 7 years. Uh, this game was originally off to Life, uh, off Life 2 mod, and now it's got a standalone release. It's a really, really big fun. You can actually now play games inside Gary's Mod, which is really, really, really fun. This game is still being the, is still being the supported, which is awesome. This game has been out for the last seven years. It's really good. At this price, it's a must-buy, definitely. It's probably one of the big deals of the day. I would say Dust is the, big, the deal of the day, just because I actually already got Gary's Mod, and I suspect most of you already own Gary's Mod. But if you haven't, you should definitely buy this. Go buy Gary's Mod. What are you waiting for? Honestly, you should you should really buy Gary's Mod. Next, we have uh, Scribble Knots Unlimited, which is 50% off for 9 euros and 49 cents. There's also Scribble Knots Unmasked for 18 euros and 49 cents. Honestly, I'll just get Scribble Knots Unlimited and not get Unmasked yet. This game came out earlier this year. It's a really nice adventure game. Really nice focus on puzzle, a really nice open world. This game was actually on a Humble Bundle just a couple of uh, weeks ago, so you should definitely want to pick it up at this point. It's really good. It's a great game, definitely one checking out, and it, uh, but at this price, you probably want to wait a bit, because it, the discount is still the deep, not the deepest it could have been, but still, it's an interesting choice. It's a really nice title, and I really want to eventually get this one. I did miss the Humble Bundle, I'm a really, really sad 
pigeon because a uh, friend of mine got this game and he really loves it and I really would love to play with him. So yeah, there's that. And the final deal of the day is gonna be Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is 50% off for 30 euros. Honestly, this is the best one of the Call of Duty series. It's way better than Ghosts. I have to say that Ghosts was not is still not as good as Black Ops 2. It's really, really a nice title. The single player campaign is really good. And the multiplayer is not yet dying, which is not surprising since Ghosts was a abysmal failure compared to this. Black Ops 2 is definitely way much better, and it's probably one of the best Call of Duty Go games out there. You definitely should get this one instead of Ghosts. It's really, really good. Black Ops 2, really awesome. But at this price, eh, Activision doesn't like to give discounts on Call of Duty games, which I don't understand why. But anyways, yes guys, those are the daily deals. Those are the last daily deals. We'll last for the next one hour and a half. Uh, the flash deals that are currently ongoing, we have Angry Video Game Narrative Adventure, 66% off for 4 euros 75 cents. I will not get this game, I really didn't like it, it's it, very linear and such. There's Planetary Annihilation, which is an early access title for 33% off for 36 euros and 84 cents. Wow, that's fucking expensive, don't get this unless you really have the money to spare. Uh, but if you do, it's actually an interesting game and really looks interesting. Audio Surf for 90% off for 1 euro, I would get this, this game is awesome. If you like to get music based games, you should definitely buy this, this is a really great deal. And finally there's Test Drive Unlimited 2, which is actually 75% for, for 5 euros, if you like driving games, it's not a bad one, honestly there's much better titles out there, but this is actually an interesting one to pick up. And looking at the new releases, we do have a new game which is called Finding Teddy, which is an adventure indie game that came out uh, uh, today. It's a little girl sleeping with her teddy bear and suddenly a monster pulls out of the couple and steals the bear and the girl has to go and rescue him. It's available for 6 7 euros, uh, not a bad price and it looks very interesting and I really, uh, though the implementation apparently was very poor on Linux according to these reviewers so if you're on Linux you should not get this game. But if you're on Windows, you probably could give this one a shot. Honestly, I'll just wait for a humble bundle, but that's just me. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Steam Autumn Sales uh, videos. I'll be keep doing Steam videos throughout the, the year. I'll, every week, I'll be trying to release a video on the start of Monday, then one on Wednesday and such. Now, the announcement for my Let's Play. I'm actually gonna be doing some Let's Plays. Uh, the game I'm gonna be Let's Playing first, it's gonna be Pokemon Red. One very good old classic. I wanna really do one of those. And I'm also going to be trying to see if I can actually also do a PC game while uh, at the same time, so we'll be looking at that. Until then, uh, the, the Let's Play Pokemon Red will start tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. Until then, uh, this is going to be the Shandy, and I'll sign out. I'll see you probably later on, because I'm actually... We'll see if there's a daily deal and as well, uh, and I'll have to try and cover it if some other news show up on Steam. I'll be putting a video for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Steam Autumn Sale and hope you guys will be on the lookout for the Steam Winter Sale which will start later this month. Until then, this is Shandy, signing out. Later guys.